Hello my pumpkins and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Joy. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 50 facts about me. I just thought that this kind of post would be ideal for you to get to know me more, especially that I share a lot uh, about myself on my YouTube channel. So I think it would be appropriate. So yeah, let me just get started. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> First fact is that my name is Joy. <laughs> Second fact is that uh, my birthday is on Saturday, like it's the 13th and I'm turning 24 years old. By the time you watch this video, I will be 24 years old. Uh, I am French Lebanese. I was born in France and then we moved to Lebanon when I was four years old. Uh, I moved to Canada about two years ago with my boyfriend. I have a boyfriend and we've been together for it's going to be in a month it's going to be uh nine years uh i'm currently studying for my master's in marketing uh which i'm highly enjoying uh i went to a french christian school and then i studied communication arts emphasis on tv film uh, at an american university uh at first i wanted to be a filmmaker that's why i studied filmmaking uh, but I ended up changing my mind after experiencing everything. However, I don't regret my choice of studying filmmaking. It's like it's one of the best things to study, to be honest. And I'm so, so, so grateful for all of the things that I learned and all of the knowledge that I acquired on filmmaking. Uh, it also got me into writing movie reviews, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, my Arabic is really bad, even though I lived my whole la life in Lebanon, but it's just, it's, it's really bad. <laughs> even though most people tell me it's not as bad as I think it is, and I do understand better than I speak, but uh, I thought I would mention it. Um, I took one year break after my university, after I graduated to work on a feature film, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever uh, lived. Uh, I have two sisters and one brother. Uh, the next day I got my driving li license, I had a car accident, my dad was very happy. <laughs> uh, the first car that I got was a Nissan Sunny and I, I, I actually loved my car very much and I called her Nissan Power. I am a huge, huge, huge Green Day fan and they were a huge part of my teenage year. They made me what I am today so I, I'm so grateful to them and I love them very much. Uh, in general, my music taste is very varied. However, I do not listen to anything that is popular or even hip hop or R&B and stuff like this. I'm more into old school, like I love the Beatles, Queen, uh, the Bee Gees, uh, Nirvana, and I love ac acoustic music, indie rock, um, you know, I, Arctic Monkeys and all of these amazing bands. But I also love to listen to movie soundtracks and to Disney songs, I love musicals, and yeah, and I love listening to classical music. My favorite movie, and that may that may not be surprising for some of you, but it is Lo The Lord of the Rings. It's one of, not one, it's my favorite movie of all time, and I cry every time I watch it. This is how much I love it. Um, I am an ambivert, so I'm, I'm both an introvert and an extrovert. I love going out and going to parties and festivals and going out with people but at the same time i also love staying in in my cozy home i also have like, a very small social circle in general i'm a very social and outgoing person however i always have difficulties like connecting with people and you know building a real quality friendship if you want uh i am a very 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 organized person i love planning i love making lists i love everything to be organized around me but at the same time i am a very very creative person and i want to work in the creative department in this, the future like i just wanna i want my future career to be revolved around creativity my love for makeup started when i wanted to look like taylor Momsen. i practically bought like random eyeshadows that i found i actually mixed several eyeshadows together but because they didn't have like a color that i wanted that she used to wear on her eyes uh, so i mixed several eyeshadows on my eyes and i used to wear like red lipstick just to look like her uh, i went through a lot of identity crisis i was my whole life like 
I'm only 24. <laughs> my whole teenage year, I was like always finding myself. I wanted to put a label on myself, like categorize myself so I could fit in, in society and so I could find inspirations and people to relate to but never worked out like I never was able to put a label on my style I still cannot put a label on it but I don't care anymore I mean I am me and I'm happy about that um I am a huge potterhead and basically I am a ravenclaw so I'm intelligent and creative I absolutely love learning and just like educating myself I love love studying so much you can always find me like watching an educational video and just coming up with random facts to my sisters is just like i love learning uh, one of the passions that i have is religion and mythologies i am precisely attracted to wiccan religion and witchcraft as you can see and northern mythologies so like vikings <laughs> um yeah but i love to learn about religions in general i have a lot of books about different religions um i love painting and drawing and i do paint and draw a lot uh, i'm not that good at it obviously i'm not an artist but i love doing it because it makes me feel good it relaxes me and it keeps my mind uh, creative i consider myself to be a green witch uh i believe in witchcraft i'm not a wiccan though which is the religion uh for now uh, i'm not a wiccan i practice my witchcraft alone uh and uh i i love it so much because i feel like witchcraft resonates with my beliefs and aligns with what i you know my, my own philosophy and what i believe in um and i'm also very attracted by the peacefulness of it and how it praises mother nature and how it's nature based my astrology and my rising sign are both gemini's but my moon sign is taurus and i believe that they all represent me very very well um i have six tattoos in total and i do plan on making more in fact i want to do a sunflower like over here not sure how if you guys can see but i plan on doing it this summer hopefully if everything goes well i don't have a career goal in general i know a lot of people and i used to have like a career goal like i want to be this or i want to be this and i'm sure most people do have a career goal i don't have one i know that i want to work in something creative i know which industries i want to work in but not a specific career goal i do know that i want of course a successful job but that's not my goal in life i'm not a career oriented person i'm more like my goal in life is just to be happy you know to feel happy and that's it however it goes like this is my goal in life i want to be mentally healthy and be very happy in my life i started my blog actually as soon as i graduated i think it was in did i graduate in 2017 okay yes i think i graduated in 2017 and as soon as i graduated i started my blog uh, because i wanted to share my movie reviews but also because i I wanted to like you know occupy myself while I was searching for a job and I slowly got into beauty but it all started with movie reviews uh, when I was a kid I adopted a spider <laughs> most people already know this I adopted a spider and I called her Natalie she used to sleep above my bed and I used to fed her lettuce uh, and then my mom murdered her well she probably should have done that before but <laughs> I have a trypophobia, so I'm disturbed by, you know, like those small holes that are disorganizedly next to each other and on a texture surface. I'm, oh, I'm really disgusted by this. I move my hands a lot when I talk. I really need to express myself with my hands. And you probably already know that from watching my YouTube videos. But also, if you know me in person, you know how much I love to move. <laughs> Uh, I don't eat seafood, the only seafood I eat is crab, but only in sushi and I know that's not real crab, so I'm fine with that, mostly I only eat vegan sushi. In general, I tried to be vegan, but it didn't work out because of my health, uh, like my body was not happy with this change, so I noticed that being suddenly vegan was not a good idea, so I'm taking things very slowly and step by step. I do try to uh, take my meat consumption to a really, really minimum. Uh, but I don't deprive myself from it because my body is not happy when I do that. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying my best, of course. Like, I really care about animals and the environment and everything. So I really want to make a change in that. I used to be a short nail person, but now I live with not long nails. 
I don't know how that happened, but it did. I have a total of four plants, four big plants, which are behind me, uh, three mini plants, which actually plants that I replanted. I don't know how you call these. And one food plant, which is a basil plant. And of course, I'm intending to grow my plant family even like bigger. Uh, but of course, I'm taking my time. I'm a new plant mom, if you want. So I, of course, like, I'm scared of making mistakes with my plants. So I want to take it, you know, step by step. Me and my boyfriend are planning on to adopt a cat. We're actually in the process of adopting a cat. In general, I am very much a cat person. I love cats so 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 much but i do consider myself to be an old animal kind of person i love dogs and i grew up with dogs and in the future i hope to have dogs so i cannot just say that i hate dogs i don't at all i love dogs i mean if you know me you know how much i love aspen but I do consider myself to be a cat person. In fact, the animal that I can relate to the most uh, would be a cat for sure. I am not a book person, but when I read a book that I love, I will read it and read it and fall in love with it and I will become a book person for this book. It's weird, but I cannot read old books because like I said, I'm not a book person. My favorite food would be salads uh, because I love how I love how creative you can get with salads. I love how much like you can eat so much things and you can get full with just a salad if you're creative enough with it and I love that. I think sushi would be my close second to my favorite food, but I'm not sure. Uh, in general, my favorite cuisine is Middle Eastern and I would precise Lebanese food, Chinese food and Italian food. I'm a really highly sensitive person, but at the same time, I'm very, I have a strong personality and I'm very, imp I have strong empathy. Is that how you say it? Have strong empathy. And that's coming from the people who know me. <laughs> uh, I don't necessarily love summer, but I am, highly attracted to the sun i love the sun i love sitting under the sun i love feeling the sun on my skin i just love whether it's in winter or in summer or in spring or fall just seeing the sun and feeling the sun makes me so happy fall is my favorite season you probably already know this uh, not only it contains my favorite holiday which is seiming uh, uh halloween for uh known for its common name but uh, same name as my favorite holiday and i love fall for countless of reasons not just for the holiday but also for the landscape i love the, the the color of the leaves i love the fruits and vegetables that grow in fall i love the weather i love the fashion i love the beauty i just i love everything about fall uh, all of the activities that i used to do as a kid so i mean by that like the classes that i took after uh, school are the following Piano, singing, guitar, ballet, painting, tennis, and surfing. Surfing is the last thing that I did. I loved everything that I did except for ballet. I hated it. Um, I stopped tennis because I hated my teacher. I stopped piano because I preferred guitar. Of course, I was highly influenced by Billy Joe and I wanted to be like him, so of course I went for guitar. Uh, but I stopped uh, singing and I stopped guitar and I stopped uh, painting and uh, surfing because of lack of time, like I didn't have the time. Of course, I didn't do everything all at once. Uh, like I said, surfing actually, yeah, surfing and guitar are the two last things that I did. Uh, before that, I stopped uh, singing. So yeah, but if I could, I would of course continue taking classes. But I know now that I have the bass, I don't have to take classes. I could just practice, but surfing, I can't in Montreal. Uh, and guitar, I actually don't have my guitar with me uh, in Montreal but yeah, maybe I'll just bring it with me when I go back to Lebanon I have a very very bad vision I'm actually myopic so I'm farsighted, I cannot see from far and it's so bad that when I do my makeup I have to really put the mirror really close to me I don't know if you ever noticed that for me when you see my makeup tutorials but I'm always like I really cannot see and I tried to wear contact lenses, but that did not work out for me. Woo! That was a mess. So I'm, I'm just sticking to glasses. My go-to Starbucks drink is a caramel latte or a caramel iced latte and I always add whipped cream and caramel syrup. My go-to cinema snack is a mix of salt and caramel popcorn. 
Recently, I've been loving adding also cheese popcorn, so a mix of the three, and I only love them in Lebanon because I tried them in other countries and in other countries that mean friends in Canada only <laughs> I only tried them in friends in Canada and I didn't like them at all like I don't know people do not do good popcorn there so it's only in Lebanon that I love eating popcorn uh, and that means salt caramel sometimes if I feel like it I will add cheese but oh my god like this is my everything sometimes I only go to the mall just to take a pack of like popcorn salt caramel and just eat it it's just it's so good and that's it these are all of the 50 facts about me i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a like bye